starting shooters here for blue collar prepping and sorry about the last video it ran really really long sorry about that a lot of ground to cover things to take care of and so we're back here with my enhanced or new version of my get home bag and as you probably remember from last week there's a lot of stuff in here and actually this is pretty much a already put together self-contained go camping never coming home whatever but you know me i like a lot of stuff and i have to be prepared so we're going to cover the few things that we didn't cover last time first off and foremost this big glaring area right here poncho another poncho two space blankets also another poncho an old one that's set polyvinyl really really tough stuff on there i like it because it's this color you can signal it you can use it as a drop cloth you know I got kids, I might have kids with me, what have you. And it all fits relatively nicely in this little pouch here. And while we were going through this last week, it dawned on me a couple things I don't have. I didn't have in here. 550 cord. It's left what's a spool. I don't know how much is on it, but it's unobtrusive and it's easy to carry. And I got lots of it and I'll have lots of it. A couple other things that I all thought about, it's like what really keeps this from being an actual ready to go camping set it's two things folding stove and i have this one from united survival technologies and the fuel tabs as you can see i don't even see that i bought it was on sale at my new favorite prepper retailer place it's a big box store there nationwide we'll talk about that in another post over my other youtube channel but i was like a couple weeks i'm gonna try it out i might just try it out in the backyard cook some hot dogs or something but we're gonna try it out and see how well it works so that would be in there. And the last was a knife. And knives and multi-tools, a mound, whatever, but seeing that we're, you know, preppers here, I had some credit at a local pawn shop for something that I was gonna buy and I didn't buy. I wasn't pawning anything, don't do that. And it's this Victor Knox Swiss Army Knife camping knife. And it's got a big knife blade that's got a frame lock in it. Obviously I need some work on it. There's a scaler in here, bottle opener, and it's pretty robust bottle opener. I mean, that's a pretty good size screwdriver bottle opener. Phillips screwdriver, leather punch. It's on this other side here. Toothpick and tweezers and tweezers. So sure, it's not some of the other big brand Gerber, Leatherman, whatever, SOG multi-tools, but this is a kind of handy in emergency situation kind of thing. So I'm gonna look at a review for that. It's in really great shape, like it's probably sat in the box. It was used, but you can't tell by looking at it. It looks like it just came out of the box brand new. So, there you have it. Now I'll figure this all out a little bit later on where I want it to go. Use a couple of these old bungee straps. Get my snowshoes on. And I'll probably just throw them right in here underneath this flap with this. We talked about how was I gonna carry them. Kind of a pain, kind of not, obviously. If it's raining, I'd probably do something else. But there you have it. We are good to go. This is the last post before your Christmas year season. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. And as always, be good, be safe. And if you can't be safe, be good and dangerous.